Hi friends, Professor Joe here. I hope you all are doing great. And welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss how to draw trend lines. We will also see how you can use trend lines to take a trade. And friends, if you're still not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon. I keep creating a lot of educational videos on trading, stocks, crypto, options, and other related topics. Let us get back to the topic of the day. So first question, what is a trend line? Let us look at the meaning of trend line. Trend lines are straight lines that connect two or more price points on a chart to identify and confirm trends. In technical analysis, trend lines are a fundamental tool that traders and analysts use to identify and anticipate the general pattern of price movement in the market. So I hope this meaning is very, very clear that to draw a trend line, you need minimum two points. Now, because the word is called as trend line, a lot of people get confused. What is most important is you need to understand that a trend line is not a line. It is a zone. The minute you understand this fact, drawing trend lines become very, very easy. First, we will look at a simulation and then we will look at the real charts. Now, like you can see on this drawing, there are three points which are circled in green and there is a trend line. Point number one, you can see that it has not touched the trend line. Point number two, you can see that it has gone through the trend line. And point number three, you can see that it has just touched the trend line. So a new trader over here gets confused. What should I do? Is this a proper trend or not? So this is where the actual knowledge of drawing a trend line is required. Now, as there is support and resistance lines, we say that they are support and resistance zones. Same way, Trend lines is also trend line zones. So what is most important is to understand that a trend line is not a trend line. It is a trend line zone. So how do you draw a trend line zone? That is what is most important. This is how you are supposed to draw trend line zones. In some cases, the price might just touch the upper part of the zone. In some cases, the price might just touch the lower part of the zone and in some cases the price might be in the middle of the zone but all three is considered as a trend line zone everything is inside the trend line zone so yes this is a trend line zone so we need to come out of this myth that there is something called as trend line it is a trend line zone now how do you trade using trend line it is true that people say that every time the price comes into the trend line zone, you can buy or sell depending on which direction the market is moving. But if you really want to get good trades with over 60% win ratio, then you need to follow the simple rule. The simple rule is number one, the price has to come back into the trend line zone. And if it is a bullish trade, then the price also has to Touch a previous resistance which is now looking like a support. And when the price reaches such a point where it has now become a support zone and a trend line zone, that is the area where you should go for a buy. Now you can add a few more things over here like looking for a bullish candlestick pattern that will help the situation. Number two, as always I say, you should always manage your risk. Do not risk more than 0.5% in one particular trade because the risk to reward ratio in these kind of trades are very, very good. Now, another question that is asked frequently is, sir, how many trades will I get like this in a day? In shorter time frame, these zone can be breached very easily. Whereas in longer time frame, these zones are really, really strong. So if you go for shorter time frames like a 5-minute chart and a 15-minute chart, you might get 2 trades, 3 trades in a day. But 
it can get breached because of the price movements. Just few pips here and there, it will hit your stop loss. But if you go for a daily chart, a weekly chart, or even a four-hour chart, these zones are very, very strong zones and the price normally do not breach such zones. Only when the trend is changing, then the price breaches these zones. So it's always better to go for a higher time frame when you're looking at these things and trading. But yes, this can be used in lower time frames as effectively as it can be used on higher time frames. But you should be ready to take some stop losses over here. And remember, do not trade without stop loss because sometimes people say, oh, the stop loss just got hit and now the price is moving in my direction. So I'm not going to put a stop loss. Don't do that. Because sometimes the directions change and then you will have to take a big loss. It is always better to take a small loss because you can overcome from these losses very, very easily. So let us now look at a real chart, how this can be used. Friends, in this example, I have taken a 5-minute chart in Nifty 50. Now, I know that I told go for a higher time frame, but higher time frames are much easier to identify the trends and the trend lines. So, I thought I will take a little tougher role. Let's look at trend lines or trend line zones in a 5-minute chart. This way, you will also understand how you should draw the trend line zones in a 5-minute chart. And as I told you, there can be breakouts. So we will look at that example also. So let us see how to draw a trend line zone in Nifty 50 in a five minutes chart. Okay, so like you can see, the uh, it's very clear that here the price is moving up. So we will go for the trend line. And as I said, let us draw a line which will connect all the points okay very comfortably so you can see that first point as touch second point as touch third point fourth point fifth point six point so it's a good one but if you try to do it exactly like these two so what happened this pass this price point passed through this price point over here passed through our trend line this price point did not touch our trend line this price point touched the trend line. This price point passed through the trend line. This price point also passed through the trend line and this price point also passed through. So you will not be able to draw a perfect trend line. So it becomes confusing. What do you do? So that is where the trend line zone comes into picture. So we will draw the trend line zone. Very, very simple. So we'll take all these points over here. Draw a line. Let's take a second trend line and draw a parallel trend line to it. Should look parallel. You don't draw it too far. Just make sure that the lowest points are touching over here. Okay, now you go. You got one point here, one point that's the lowest point, the highest point touching over here. So now what you have done is you have drawn a trend line zone where you're trying to get maximum touch points. So your 1 point, 2 point, 3 point, 4 point, 5 point, 6 points have touched. But now you need to enter a trade. So to enter a trade, what you have to see is minimum two touch points. So let us look at the third touch point, whether it is giving us a good trade or not. So first point, second point. So this is the third point. So should we enter a trade over here? So what we can do is we draw a rectangle over here to see whether it's a good price point or not. Actually, from here, if you draw. This particular price zone over here, one support, two support, one time resistance, two time resistance, three time resistance. Now, when the price has come over here, you know that one trend line support zone, two trend line support zone, third time it came. At the same time, it is such an important zone. So if you enter the trade over here, chances are there that you will get a very, very good risk to reward ratio and you can see it. You can see it over here, how well the trade has taken off from there. Let us see in some other zone also, whether we are able to get a good buying uh, level. So let us look at some other zone also, whether we are getting a good buy level. 
So the price came over here for the fourth point. You already entered here. Fifth point, again, you don't see very good support or resistance over here. But look at the sixth point. Again, you can see this is a very, very important price zone. So let us draw a rectangle from here. See, this was a good resistance over here. The price almost touched this and went back down. You can make, if you want, you can make it a little bit bigger over here just to make sure that it touches. Okay. Here, the price just went back up and came back down. That means this was a good zone over here. The price did not break through and continue. And then when the price broke and came down over here, it's in our trend line zone and it is in our support and resistance zone. This is another good trade that you can enter over here for a buy. So you see how easy it is if you are able to identify a good trend line zone and a support and resistance zone to enter into a trade. And as I said, in a five minute chart, you will see such candles. See over here, this candle just broke the resistance zone and came back again into the zone. This candle, you see how long it is. It just came. So if you would have put a small trade over here with a small stop loss, it would have triggered your stop loss. So that is why it is very, very important that when you're trading on a smaller time frame, you should have that positive mind frame that if I hit some stop losses, it's okay because you can recover from the next trade. Now, let us look at a similar situation in a sell also. Okay. So, there you go. Uh, this looks like a good downtrend over here. So, let us draw a trend line over here and see whether the goals that we have discussed, whether it's being achieved here or not. So we take the trend line and we draw a trend line over here. So as I said, let us see how much points we can connect. Okay, so seems like a good trend line over here. But in some points it has gone above. Some are just touching. So it's okay. Let us draw another parallel line. Now, I will not want to take this price point over here because it has gone too much above. So, I will just take it a little bit down over here. That's it. So, this is my trend line zone over here. As I said, in 5-minute chart, such breakpoints will happen. But you have to look at the major areas of support and resistance. So, here you can see 1.2.3456678, you know, so many points are there. So, you have to look for the third point because two points anyways you cannot, you need. So, two points you anyways need to draw a trend line. So, you have to look at the third point. So, let us see the third point. Point number one, point number two. So, this is the third point. This is a false breakout that happened which will normally happen in five minutes. So, if you are trading on lower time frames, you should be ready to see these things. Now, over here you saw this is our third point and look at this. Resistance, support, what better trade can you get over here? It was an earlier resistance, then it became a support, then it became a resistance and it is your third point. One, two, three, third point. Nothing better, go for a sell trade over here. Let us look at some more example, the same trend. See over here. Like you can see over here. Okay, so I have drawn this uh, support and resistance zone over here. One support, two support, and here it has got converted again into a resistance. It's in your trend line. You have already drawn your trend line basis is first and second point. Third, you are ready to enter. Fourth and fifth, since there is no good support and resistance, you could avoid. There are some good uh, small ones over here, but uh, you know, you could have taken it or you could have avoided it you know, because you can see one point over here, another point over here and the third point over here. You can take it. But look at this one, 1.2.3rd entry. 
1.2.3.4.5th entry. So, people say that, you know, after looking at the trade, it's easy. But if you've already drawn this trend line, basis is 1 and 2 point, then whenever the price is coming over there, you can enter the trade. And when the price breaks it, you look for another trend line zone. Simple as that. Try this. This is going to be a very, very good strategy to make good profits in the stock markets. Now, friends, I hope that this video has made it very, very clear how to use trend line zones and how to use support and resistance to pick good trades. Of course, this will require a lot of practice monitoring the charts. And if you are able to do it successfully, 101% you will become a successful trader. And always remember your risk management. Do not trade more than 0.5% in any trade. Finally, friends, technical analysis is all about practice, patience and persistence. You need to give your time to the markets. That's when you're going to learn all these tricks. Friends, I've written a book, Traders You Can Win, But First Learn to Lose. This book talks about technical analysis and my experience in the financial markets. It's available on Amazon and Kindle. So if you really want to buy it, you know where to get it from. And friends, if you love the way I'm creating content, please like and share these videos. So like you, there might be many others who want to learn trading the right way. These videos will surely help them to improve their trading. Friends, I have created many videos. And in coming times, I'll be creating many, many, many more videos. So if you're still not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon. So that every time I create a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Friends, I have created a set of trading training videos. The link is given below. Kindly go through these videos. It will help you to make your fundamentals even stronger. Friends, all I can say is keep learning, keep growing. Thank you. Namaskar.